Thanks to the bravery of Liu Bei and Guan Yu, Dong Zhuo was driven from the capital. In his new capital of Chang'an, he soon found himself betrayed and murdered by his retainer Lu Bu. Finally, the gales of tyranny had been expelled from the capital's hallowed confines. However, the damage to the imperial court's authority had been done, and the land returned to the chaos of countless warlords vying for power. There was one man who was left behind, cut off from the raging storm. It was Liu Bei, who despite his deeds in the battle against Dong Zhuo, still had no land to call his own. And so he sought the aid of an old friend, Gong Sun Zan. For no matter how Liu Bei tried to rescue those around him, the land as a whole would not be healed. Despite his doubts, he could not give up on his desire to help the people. It was then that a request for reinforcements came from Tao Qian of Shu province. Gong Sun Zan dispatched Liu Bei and his sworn brothers, as well as his own lieutenant, Zhao Yun. Their foe was a man who was attempting to use the chaos to further his own ambitions. He was the one known as the hero of chaos, Cao Cao. Lord Zhao Yuan has great respect for Lord Liu Bei. Yes, I'm sure he understands our Lord's anger. Lord Zhao Yuan is an example to us all. If he truly is that powerful, then we will have no choice but to eliminate him. That is the message we shall send to Cao Cao in this battle. Lord Liu Bei, it's me. You remember me, right? My village was overrun by the yellow turbans, remember? But if anything, this is even worse. I'm worried about my friend back home. Maybe I'll write a letter. Cao Cao's a monster. My family, they're... they're... Uh, please, just leave me alone. His family was killed in front of his eyes. Just leave him in his grief. This well's useless now. You want water? Sorry, it's all dried up. They say Lord Liu Bei used to be a sandal salesman. That doesn't sound right. Cao Cao is truly heartless, to have wreaked such destruction in such a short time. Lord Guan Yu is so calm, or maybe he's just suppressing his rage. Look at this place! The bodies are just piling up on each other! It's as Lord Tao Qian said, Cao Cao's army is nearly invincible and shows no mercy. He kills every last one of his enemies. That is the only way he knows how to fight a battle. This guy makes me sick. He's nothing like brother. My house. Now what am I supposed to do? Just between you and me, I think Lord Zhao Yuan is too good for his master. He needs a real leader to follow. My house! Now what am I supposed to do? 
Lord Zhao Yun is an example to us all. Lord Liu Bei is a man of emotion. To think he would help these people, despite having no relationship to them. Why do you think we follow him? I wish I was as content as you are. You have been blessed to serve such a benevolent lord. In that case, why don't you join us? I'm sure Brother would love to have you. Perhaps someday. For now, let us go, Zhang Fei. I have to take out Zhao Zhao. No problem at all. Oh, Lord, Lord Tao Jian is under attack. Timely. You saved me. Are you all right? Follow me and I'll take you to the castle. I must retreat. This is not the end. You have truly earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. All of you, work together and listen to my commands. Follow my instructions and victory will be ours. You are an example to us all, brother. the slightest chance. Our defenses must be watertight. A true warrior. You will carry our honor across the land. A concentrated attack is always better than a single one. Work together and you shall prevail. A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. Up and try again. My castle is returned to me. I don't know how I can ever thank you. Don't worry about it. All in a day's work. It is time to make what Cao Cao's name get. First, we must secure the central garrison. Look at this carnage! You see nothing! 
Some sacrifices are necessary for my lord's sake. Truly dedicated to this cause. Your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. You are an example to us all, brother. This belongs to my lord. Keep your thieving hands off. Always try to find it. Not the enemy's weakness. Pick yourself up and try again! Pick yourself up and try again! Ha! Like taking candy from a baby! I will hold them back. You must find another path in advance. Thanks! Lead Salts out of me! I'm still waiting for a real challenge. They're here! The enemy's here! Huh? Enemy forces here too? coming from fight me now for glory oh, a true warrior indeed you will carry our honor across the land Necessarily to lose. Taking over that area. Now, get out there! Lou Boo? What's Lou Boo doing here? I have heard he is wandering the land. Perhaps he is looking for a place to call home. Oh, you're good, but I'm better. What? Your reputation. 
Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. Your prowess rekindles my spirit. Onward to victory! I will cut a path for my lord. And any who get in my way will be Come cut down it. too. A path made for the blood of the innocent is one that should never be walked. Out a home. We cannot simply turn our backs on him. Your kindness will get you killed. Liu Bei and Zhang Fei earned a hard fought victory, successfully defending Shu. Afterward, Tao Qian bequeathed the lands of Shu to Liu Bei before he passed away. Finally, Liu Bei had a land to call his own. Meanwhile, Cao Cao had taken yet another step toward conquering the land. For he had taken the emperor into his custody after rescuing him from the remnants of Dong Zhuo's army. Sympathizing with the plight of the Han court, Liu Bei came to a compromise with Cao Cao. And, receiving imperial edicts through Cao Cao, he did battle across the land in the name of the Emperor. It was then that a dark shadow appeared to block Liu Bei from carrying out his orders. Lu Bu, who had been under Liu Bei's protection, used his absence to raise an army of his own. And within the blink of an eye, he had captured Xu. Once again, Liu Bei was forced to wander the land until Cao Cao offered his assistance. He agreed to take in Liu Bei and his sworn brothers and mobilized his troops to reclaim Xu. Liu Bei was extremely grateful for Cao Cao's generosity, and together they set out for Xia Pi. There was no way that he could know what cruel, cold, and calculating schemes truly lay within Cao Cao's heart. <laughs> 